That's a battery as well, so I need to plug it into charge. E. Uh. Yeah. Luckily, we're playing uh, Torchlight, so it doesn't use my controllers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's the one thing I've always hated about battery-operated things like keyboards, mice, and earphones and things. It's constantly having to charge them. It's... It, it, they have like a three-hour battery life, longer than that. Yeah. It's like a. It's it's quite the while for. Uh, it, it it has quite a good battery life, but the problem is I don't I can't see the amount of battery left when I'm using my laptop. Yeah. I can see it if, when I'm using them on the PlayStation, but I can't see it while I'm using the laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Um. The only indication that I have is when it beeps, because it beeps as a warning that, hey, listen, the battery is low. Yeah, Put the battery is slow. Yeah. Quickly, 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 yeah. Isn't there like, like a app that you can download? There's like a... On the PlayStation, yes, but not on, on PC. That's weird, because uh, generally if there's a thing on the PlayStation for it, you'll have a thing on the PC for it as well. But the thing is, it's not... Uh, it's a it's a case of you use the app to customize one of the because these are uh, to be more precise these are the PlayStation headset. This is the PlayStation headset. It was made specifically for PlayStation. For the yeah. PlayStation. Okay. And um, so you can download an app on the PlayStation to customize. Uh, one of the settings, because you have three sections of the on switch. You have off, on, off, one, and then two. Now you can okay. customize two to be, to have footsteps be louder or softer, and gunshots be louder or softer. Oh, so you can cool. customize the different levels of volume for different things. Oh, okay. That's so that's why I can't cool. download. That's why there isn't a app for it on, on PC. Okay. But my my sound card that I've got on my laptop at the moment also has that same feature. Um, specifically made for games. So it's it also amplifies footsteps and things so that you can hear better when someone's close by or, or things like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, but one other thing that I really like about this is you can switch surround sound on and off. That's cool. With the press of a button on the headset itself. It is really nice. Yeah, that is really nice. It beats having to go into the settings the whole time to go and search for the, like, turn on yeah. true surround or turn it off or enable 3D sound. Or and the other the other very nice thing with mm -hmm. it is um you can actually turn there's two buttons on the front of it called volume and then no it's game and chat so oh, if you're okay. using in-game chat you can actually turn it to be louder or softer depending on what you need oh that's cool and i have used it before to turn the the game louder Yes. Well, my friend goes after while we're playing because I needed to hear better what's going on in the game. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is a very, a very nice headset too. Yeah. It's, it's uh, feature-wise, it's great. Just as plus, I mean, the microphone is not too bad. <laughs> no, the microphone sounds fine. Just a pity the battery life is not that great. Otherwise, it would have been I, I think it's, perfect. It's quite. It's actually quite the long battery life, I just don't remember what it is. Because okay. usually Bluetooth headsets only have like a three hour battery life. Yeah. I know there are some companies that have a much, much longer battery life. Yes. Um, I'm not gonna name any specific brands yeah, right don't. now. Um, only one day when they're paying us. <laughs> There are, yeah. yeah, there is no sponsored content on this channel. <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> if you want to sponsor us, send us a message. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no, no sponsored content yet. Yes. <laughs> but 
But I mean, the problem with sponsored content for our channel, mm -hmm. I know I'm getting sidetracked. Believe me, dude. I nah. will circle back to what I was, the point I was making. We'll get, we'll get to that. But yeah, say what you want to say. Um, the problem with sponsorship content for this channel specifically is the fact that we bulk record. Yeah. Um. Until we we sit down and record one episode at a time. We can't really do sponsorships, if you we think about it. No, we still can. I can because just record an intro uh, sponsorship video and just put it into the, the game itself. It's not an issue. Yeah, that's true, actually. Mm. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Re recording once, a few episodes at one time doesn't affect anything. Yeah. We just have to make sure to keep with the load schedule then. Yeah. Which we do. Also, I found another room that has a lever attached to it. Ooh, bullet, bullet, bullet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the lever currently. Ooh, okay. I'm like using my mini map to see where the path is leading. Okay. So then I can find the lever. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a secret Maybe. room because it seems like the main room is that side. I cannot find the lever. I'll check just now. Hi. We're in the same spot. Yeah. This is the room I'm trying to open. I could I see there. The yeah, give it a second. We might have to I'm come going back. back through. I'm, I'm going back through the path and just just hovering my mouse over everything to see if I can't find like a glowy bit. Yeah, it's like a little sparkly dot somewhere. Nope, can't find it. Well, it's open now. It's open. Is it? Can't open. When I was at it. No, oh, never mind. I'm just glad it's open now. Just yeah, be careful just, of the enemies inside. Yeah, I just want to check the other side. No, the other side is still closed. Oh, there we go. Just open. No, it's opened now, so... Okay. I'll be there in a second. Yeah, there's like a mini boss here. Ooh! Run, 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 run! Okay, I died, oh. actually. Demon Mangler. No, what? Well, what? Can I just summon my boot over there? No, I cannot. You're gonna have to go Ooh. in. That hit no, hard. <laughs> you don't say. It hit me from... I was on the bridge. Yes. And it hit me while I was on the bridge and nearly killed me instantly. Useless. Like one hit. Yeah. I killed it. Wow. Oh, he killed it. It's dead. There we go. That's the important thing. That's the important part, yeah. But I wasn't expecting it. If I was expecting it, I would have like thrown my health wolves down as well. My health wolf. I I saw enemies in here, but I didn't expect a mini boss. Same here. Until I saw it, it was like oopsie. I want to try and keep yeah. my death count under 10. <laughs> well, it's a bit late for me to want to do that now, huh? Yeah, but you can try to keep it under triple digits. <laughs> that could have been worse. It could, I mean, yeah. For, for, someone, for someone who has never played a Torchlight game yes. before, uh huh. The fact that I haven't gotten four digit death. Is <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also, you actually chose quite a difficult character to play with for a beginner, you know. Uh, the easiest yeah, so characters to usually play is like the melee ones and <laughs> like the engineer guy. He would have been a good starting character for a first time because. 
He's quite tanky, he can take a lot of punishment, um, he does quite a bit of damage as well. The Outlander and the Ember Maid are very specialized ranged characters. So you're not doing badly at all, all things considered. I saw guns, and guns are always the best. <laughs> and these types of games. Well, that, but usually in these types of games, it also means that the characters themselves are quite weak. Yeah. You generally need like a, a melee character to protect them while they are. Oh, this is the rank. boss area. Oh yes. Okay. I quickly sent my wolf to town to. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Yeah. Inventory. Just empty out whatever yeah. I have. Empty out your inventory, clear everything, so that afterwards we can just run in and grab everything that's there. Okay. Yeah. Plus my pet's inventory is almost full anyway. <laughs> So now I have a question for you. Yeah. I currently have a Blood Ember Shard. Okay. Um, with armors and trinkets, it's 24 health recovered per second. Yeah. So it's just 24 HP per second, mm -hmm. which is not bad, but considering I have 2810, I don't think that's going to be super effective uh it is effective or, i've got it equipped in my chest armor actually or on weapon conveys 285 physical damage over five seconds or it is better i think uh that's a difficult one actually oh but see now there's a problem what <laughs> I have special, I have unique club that has yeah. 33 physical armor compared to my 25 currently. Okay. The thing is, I need 124 dexterity or uh, 124 dexterity plus 37 vitality or level 54. Okay. How close am I to that dex requirement? Well, I am terms... one point of dex away from having that requirement. Cool, so you can just like wait for the next level up. Yeah. So we can basically, you can use it after the dragon big boss area. Yeah. So now I'm just wondering, should I put the um, Blood Ember Shard into the gloves that I'm going to wear, or the yeah. gloves that I'm currently wearing? Put it into the gloves that you're wearing at the moment. And then later I can just use the gem saver in town to That's right. get the gem back. Yeah. Right. And I've got another blood oh. ember thing for you in any case. So you don't even have to destroy it. You can just sell it off and give you one of mine. Oh. I've got a couple of them. Also, I found a yellow salamander eye and a green salamander while oh, I was yeah. writing for XP. So now yeah. my eye collection is up. Six. Oh, cool! <laughs> it's going up. <laughs> yeah, you got those in Zerapish, I think, in the desert areas. <laughs> it's getting better. I didn't, even, <laughs> I didn't even notice the the fact that I got them until yeah. I went back to town to deposit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wait, here's more eyes. All right, our pets are back. Shall we rock and roll? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, probably should feed our fit pets something. Uh, I'm just gonna start attacking because there's Carrick got bad guys. <laughs> okay, I fed my pet. I fed my pet. Ooh. Oh dear. Damn, this brute is strong. Yeah, the brutes are crappy. That's oh. why I sort of go for um, them first. I just saw the skeleton, or well, not the skeleton. Dragon. The dragon. 
Oh, yep. this is like Skyrim all over again. <laughs> Dragon Shadow, overhead! Yes. That dealt a lot of damage. So how long before he actually lands? We have to clear the area, I think. I think he'll land when there's nothing left to attack us. There we go. Did it land? Yes, it Ow, ow, I died. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's 81. <laughs> um. Yeah, I've got to say, it's quite tough. <laughs> and the whole flying in the air thing is quite annoying. Don't worry, my shadow group is on its way. <laughs> I had to run around just to recover some health. <laughs> I'm just sitting back and shooting acid right now, it. <laughs> Magma Gargoyle! Nope! It's like, Protecting don't kill my gargoyle! <laughs> no, don't kill me! Yeah, don't... Don't stay in the flames. If it throws flames down, run around, get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Typically my strategy. Why do these little whelplings do so much damage? <laughs> Seriously, uh, they no, do no, no, more no. than half my health of damage in one hit. Wow. Even my pet is like struggling. Oh, my pet is gone. Yeah. Oh, Reaper was killed. <laughs> so that's eight. And of course, you died just at the moment I killed the dragon. <laughs> of course. That's how it usually ends, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds just like it usually is. Okay, how much XP do you currently have? Uh, I've got 72,900. 67,000. Is what I'm currently at. 67. Mm. Okay, so you basically missed out on 5,000. Yeah. Ah. Oh. You know what? Ooh. I'm not gonna be salty about it or mad about it. I'm just gonna accept it, <laughs> gonna accept it the way it is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a ring for you. Ooh, okay. Where are you? Here you are. 